All right, all right. So now what we're gonna do is start cranking it up a notch and it's gonna start getting a little bit more intense. This is where the fun begins though, where we can reach out to the people we want, give them the information they're looking for and bring them in so that essentially we can start making more money, right? So in this, we're going to learn the format options that were given by Facebook and what they are and what each one can do. So this one's a little long, but this is very critical. So here we go. By default, the option that we're given is a single image option. Now, real quick, once again here, whatever you're testing, however you're naming or whatever audience you're going for, utilize this space for this, right? We're going to learn about split testing later on where we're taking one ad and having, say, a red picture with the same wording and everything else will be the same. And then we're going to duplicate that ad and have it run against, uh, excuse me, then we'll make it with a blue picture. So we'll have a red picture ad and a blue picture ad. We'll run them against each other and get better results. So, which will help you navigate easier is by naming these things, right? Knowing examples, or excuse me, knowing exactly what you're going for, right? So if we are using the blue image or if we're going for the red image or whatever it is, define that in the ad name. It's going to be a lot easier for you when you're looking through things later on and being able to identify what is working. So now that I sidetracked, let's get back on track. So single image is the option that we're given and you have several options to do a couple things. You can upload your own image, right? Which we'll do. Obviously, I'm just gonna grab one that comes real quick. Right there. And it's right there, perfect. Now another option, if you don't happen to have any images that you feel comfortable utilizing, ideally, I like to use a house right, a home, and if I'm not using a house or a home, I like to use people, right? We're on Facebook, we're dealing with human beings, they interact well with faces, and then obviously since we're dealing with homes and letting people accomplish their dreams of home ownership or refinancing, then we wanna associate that, uh, get that mental association so that, you know, everything clicks and they're knowing what everything is about, so. Facebook provides ads, uh, excuse me, images if you don't have any. So let's just say you didn't have any and you went in and you typed in house. Oops, I already typed it in. And the double type doesn't work too well as you can see. So we'll go in here and we'll choose a home. Now, obviously, what's going to relate the best with the audience is a home that looks familiar within your area. If this, if this type of home doesn't work or look well, please don't use that, right? I mean, get, get a home from an, one within your area, somebody that, you know, will allow you to utilize one, take a picture of your own home, take a picture of a friend's or family member's home if you don't have one, whatever the circumstance is, but don't go and use this style home if, you know, it's completely stucco where you're at. Right, if, if you're in Phoenix, Arizona, I, I'm not sure that any of the homes out there look like this. I could be wrong. I haven't been out there lately, but I'm I'm betting that a lot of them don't. So please match it up so that obviously the audience can relate to it. So with the single image ad is literally all you see, right? I mean that that's it. It's a single image, right? Then what we'll do is, and we will go over this in other lessons, is actually working on the message that we're getting to them. So right here, I'm just gonna use some filler. And we will use a call to action. Obviously, whatever your message is, we will use accordingly. Learn more is always nice. If we're having them sign up, tell them to sign up. And now, obviously, your website would go here too. With these things, that's great. And an image works, and people are getting people to contact them, right? But an image only does so much, 
right? Now, to step up an image, you have carousel option. Now, what the carousel option is, is several images with messages that are there. Right now, as you see, you're not given the amount of space that you are with just the single image. You can kind of see the second image rolling over and kind of crowding up on it. Now, in addition to this, real fast, you'll notice that this is the desktop newsfeed. You can view it through um, the mobile newsfeed or just a regular type of old school phone by several ways. You can do the drop down menu here, or if you'll notice to the right of this, you can just hit that and it'll go. And now it tells you mobile newsfeed. So this is literally how somebody would see the image on a desktop. All right, that doesn't work. So let's just go to, let's just load this one just for purposes of this. Obviously, each format has different ad requirements. I didn't touch base on that, so let me jump to this real quick. In the single image ad, it is recommended to have a 1200 by 628. In another, in another video, I will go over a source to where we can adjust the image sizing. And it's very simple. Even if you're not, you know, uh, website savvy or anything like that, I'm gonna show you step by step how you can do it yourself if you had to get it done so that you can continue to move forward with what you need to do. Now, the carousel image size, I don't recall the sizing of that right off top, so let me remove that. As you can see for this one, it's saying 1080 by 1080. So, and always, always, no matter if it's a carousel or a single image ad, you really don't wanna have any image, or excuse me, any uh, content or text in the actual image itself, because it reduces the amount of people that it's gonna get shown to, and then secondarily, to be honest, the image that we utilize here is really just to get their attention, right? We're not giving them the message through our image. We're giving them the message through the wording that we're provided here and also here, right? So don't try to utilize your image to sell what you need to, unless it's very quick, right? Like two words or something, but you can't, you can't try to sell your, your message through the image itself because it just doesn't work well, right? We need to utilize the space we're given and utilize the image itself to get their attention. Obviously, same type of thing, get your call to action. And this is what you're given, right? This is the area that you're given. Now, what would happen is you would be able to have a secondary image right here. Bear with me. I know that it had select those were too small. So let's select this one. So this is how it would appear, right? So if you had one image here and a message here, second image. so you would be able to actually say two different things, right? But it's, it's all circumstantial as far as results go. And what I mean by that is you have to test. Now, in my opinion, the single image ad works good. The carousel image ad works better because there's several options for people to see, right? But what works in one market might not work in another market. So please, test, test, test. Now, as we're going up the scale, we're gonna to go to from single image to carousel to then the optimal thing we wanna be able to utilize is a video, right? But if we don't have a video, what we're gonna utilize is a slideshow. Now, it, this, is, this is interesting, right? They, they've made this really neat to where you can do a lot of fun and neat things with this. You can play music to these if you choose to, obviously use the appropriate tone, right? I mean, don't come through with some 
something that just is not relative, right? We want to ease the mind and, and, and match up with the message that we're trying to get. So matching the music up is, is kind of tough, in my opinion, unless you feel that you know your audience really well. I personally wouldn't utilize uh, music for several reasons in addition to that, because let's remember, if somebody is on their mobile device and maybe they're at work and maybe they shouldn't be on their phone, and all of a sudden your music starts coming on, blurring things out. It just it just isn't a good matchup. So I don't recommend utilizing music. That's just me. By all means, do what you need to do. So when I'm utilizing this, I use at least three seconds for an image to show up. And let's do this. So that would be the first image. And let's just say this is the second one. And then we would have our third one here. Now what happens is, it'll go through, it's playing, and it'll rotate to the next one, and so on and so forth. So this can be utilized in a way to where if there is a specific property that you have in mind that you want your audience to see, you can obviously, you know, image one, we'd have an outside shot. Image two, we can maybe do a kitchen shot. Image three, a bedroom or a bathroom. Image four, have it be, you know, the backyard or however you see fit, but maybe you don't have the video for that, but you have several images of this house. You can piece it together. Now, maybe you want to show several options and that's what you would do, right? Have the, the first image here be an image of one house, uh, second house, third house, and fourth house, or however many you choose to do it. I mean, utilize the tools that we have. And if you feel three seconds is too long or short, by all means, adjust it how you feel, right? But I like to let people be able to see and get sold on the image itself. So I like to utilize three seconds. Then next, obviously we would create slideshow and it would be created. Now the thing is with this one, this one gives you the options with the slideshow, just like you have with the single image ad, right? So it's literally the same formatting to where you would have your headline, your text. Here, let me just actually create that so that it goes and I can show you instead of having you try to guess and mentally see it. I guess you could select those all at once, my fault for going back and forth. I'll have that be created. It'll be placed here. Now, the thing that I always like to do, and this is something that I would stress that you make this a standard procedure that you go by. Whenever you have messaging, and we'll go over this later on, but with the wording itself, we always want to check, once this uploads, we want to check on mobile and desktop how the messaging and the wording comes across. Does Are there things that overlap? Does it present itself well? Does it read well, essentially, on both image, uh, excuse me, on mobile and desktop? So keep that in mind. We'll go over that later. It was just something that came to my mind as what this was loading up. So if there was wording that, or uh, excuse me, words that you happen to want to add here, you could add captions there. But since there isn't, this is essentially what it would look like. And once again, you know, you can see how it's different from desktop to mobile. So, and then obviously the older style phones. But now I will show you the single video option. And essentially, really, it is exactly the same as the slideshow option where you would go through and select the image, uh, the actual video. Upload oh, well, one more time. Bear with me. Oh, these are the settings, the settings from the slideshow portion. One thing I just realized that I had missed in here was actually selecting your video thumbnail. And the video thumbnail portion is what they would actually see when your ad comes across. What is the first thing that you want them to see, right? So you can use the first image, the second image, or the third image. 
or if you chose to, you could actually upload another image that maybe you feel works better than the homes or the people that you have here, right? These might be your, uh, excuse me, when you made the slideshow, these may have been your core message uh, or the core images that you wanted to use to get people's attention, but maybe the actual image that you utilize for the thumbnail is a family or another home that is brighter. I don't know, you can utilize your imagination and the options that are given to you. So the creativity portion is there and available for us. Now, I'm gonna select single image to kind of reset everything in here. Let me go into single video. Okay, so it is actually accepting the slideshow as the actual video. Now, in this portion down here, everything stays the same once again. So three out of the four options that were given have the same formatting. And what I mean by that is the text, the message, the headline areas, right? So we can, you can utilize more words and an, a better enticing offer with these types of formats. Now you see that this is a little bit smaller on the desktop newsfeed than the video portion is. But the wording here is the key portion and the key thing that I want us to, to realize. Now, the last thing that on this video is the tracking your conversions. Now, I did not go and grab the Facebook pixel from this specific Facebook page, but I hope that you've already done that and placed that on your site at least. Right, so after you've done that, this would be active, there would be a green light here, and you would se select track all conversions from my Facebook pixel. And it would show a green light and you'd be set and ready to go. So now you can actually see what ads are paying off, what they're doing, and which ones that you can pause, which ones you can put more money to, right? Because obviously if something's not working, we don't need to keep putting more money to it. So we'll get into some of those more technical aspects in some other videos, but for now, here we go. <laughs> All right, everybody, see you in the next one.